Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something different. I was inspired by another YouTuber and her name is Jen Rogers, so if you're watching, this was inspired by you. I'm just going to be wrapping presents today because I have a couple I need to wrap. So I figured while I wrap my presents, I'm going to talk to you guys and just have a small little chat. And I know that this room is a little echoey. It's my living room, but I figured since I'm wrapping presents, I should wrap it in front of the Christmas tree and it's a festive background. So I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much, but let's get started. First off, I just want to say, yes, I am wearing a panda shirt. <laughs> I got this from Walmart. <laughs> I know. I bought the pajama shirt for um, the pajama girls night that I had with my girlfriends last night and I haven't taken it off yet so I figured let's just stay comfortable in this video. And I threw in a snapback. Um, I haven't worn the snapback in a while and I actually really like wearing snapbacks. So I figured I'm just going to wear one of my videos today. I just realized that this might get really loud and annoying. I hope it won't be too bad. Okay, first present I'm going to wrap is John, so John, if you're watching right now, please don't watch this part. As I said earlier, this video was inspired by Jen Rogers, and the reason why she inspired me is because she started this morning chat series that she posts every morning of her just getting ready and just talking about her highlights of her previous day or whatnot, and I absolutely love listening to her. She kind of just feels like a, like a distant sister, I guess, so I really enjoy watching her chat series. And if you guys want to go check her out, please do, by the way. I'll leave a link to her channel down below, so definitely check her out. She's got really good recommendations. And speaking of really good recommendations, this present right here is actually one of the recommendations that she gave in one of her videos, and I had to buy it. It was in her travel, travel gift guide? I think that's what it was called. So I got this for my boyfriend. It's the Evolution Pillow. And I got it for him because he's on tour, and starting January, they're going to be doing shorter stops in cities and because it's going to be shorter stops in cities they're most likely going to be traveling by bus not by plane so I figured this might be a really good gift for him on the bus and if he doesn't like it then I'm going to steal it because it looks pretty sweet where's my tape? I didn't bring my big tape be right back guys alright I got the tape I don't even remember what I was talking about oh um, I did a couple videos on how to wrap a present and oh my phone! Sorry guys, there's so many disruptions right now. This is not a very well planned video. But, I'm just gonna keep it casual. So I made a video on how to wrap a present and if you guys don't know how to wrap a present, go check the video out. I'll link it right here. Um, I just made a video on like fundamentals of how to wrap a present. Just like the basic steps and you can figure out how to use those steps to wrap like other types of presents. This is like the hardest part of this piece of tape, is trying to find the end. If you're gonna use tape like this, definitely fold over the ends so that it's easy to find later, which I didn't do for some reason. But I got it. And I also showed you how to wrap a present using eco-friendly options. And that kind of inspired me this year to just wrap my presents in basically whatever I could find. So this, today, I'm wrapping my present in this brown scrap paper that I did not buy. It came with all of my Amazon orders and it was in this big package. And here's a little bit left here. So even if it doesn't fit the gift, I just, I honestly just don't care. Not that I don't care, but I just feel like, yes, it's nice to have a good looking present, but at the same time, you look at it for two seconds and then you rip it open. And I know that another green, greener option of wrapping presents is using fabric, but I think that kind of takes the fun out of opening presents, like the action of actually ripping open a present. I still enjoy it to this day and I'm 24. So I think that the options that I recommend in the video are still great options. The brown paper bags are super cheap. So I got this for like $2 at most and it's like a bunch of small brown paper bags. You can like tape them together to make a big one or just use them for small gifts. I just like the, the idea of wrapping your presents in some sort of paper option that are recyclable and are also cheap. So I'm using this Amazon paper which surprisingly just happens to fit and cover it. So Jen recommended that Evolution pillow and <sighs> Jen, thank you. I was stumped on what to get John. I also got him other things, but I wanted to add one more thing to his gift, and this was a perfect addition. 
and I'm just very happy with what I got him. I bought two of her recommendations from her videos within like 24 hours of each other. So I bought this evolution pillow. I also bought something, the ring bunker that she recommended in one of her morning chat series. I bought that for my brother. And what else? Oh, she also rec recommended the Bose headphones for the travel gift guide. And I didn't buy that for anyone, but I kind of put it on my wish list. So, you know, John <laughs> or someone, you know, if you want to gift me something awesome, you can get me headphones because I've been wanting really nice over the ear headphones just for travel purposes because I mean this past year I've traveled quite a bit. I've noticed that my Apple headphones really suck for airplanes because even on Max, which you probably should not do, which is what I have been doing, but on the airplane I have to put my headphones on Max volume because I can't hear anything because of the engine, the people, being in the air in general, I don't know, it just it sucks. It's not good to do that because I feel like you're doing more damage to your ear than anything. So you need really good high quality headphones to just cover your ears and keep the noise out, at least make it very minimal. And yeah, so I added that to my wish list. So hopefully, if not, then whatever, I'll just get for myself eventually. Oh, also on the topic of Jen Rogers, I just want to say hi to Jen and Brandon because yeah, you guys are cool and awesome. I just watched your husband tag video and the morning chat series that was after that because I was partying all weekend with Christmas festivities and couldn't watch it. So I finally got to watch it this morning. No, this afternoon because I got home this afternoon. So yeah, just want to say hi to you guys. I've actually been buying a lot of my gifts online this year. I bought gifts online last year as well, but this year was strictly all online. It was because Amazon.ca was having this promo, or like not promo, but this thing that they're having where you can have Amazon Prime for free for a month. And I used it and just ordered all my gifts and they all came within two days, which was awesome. So I was very pleased with their service. I'm actually rushing to do this video because I'm going out to the movies with my girlfriend in a couple hours to go see the movie Sisters that just came out with Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. And I'm super excited to see it. I think today I'm going to try nachos, movie nachos for the first time. Usually I am like 100% a popcorn person and I don't know what it is, but I still want popcorn. I'm hoping someone else will get popcorn so I can pick at it. Um, but today I am going to try something new and I'm going to try the nachos with cheese and the jalapenos and just be super unhealthy because I just, you know, you're allowed to have those days or a couple of them because I was eating bad all weekend. <laughs> I'm actually very pleased with myself that I've used recyclable options for my gifts this year, like this massive gift behind me. It's a compost tumbler. I bought one for my parents. I could not wrap it, so I figured this was actually a lot prettier, which was keeping the cardboard plain. Although this part kind of annoys me that says made in Canada. So I literally just put blue velvet ribbon that I had, and I made my paper bow at the top to make a bigger paper bow instead of buying one. So if you want to learn how to make a paper bow, link it right here, go check it out, and just make a bigger version of it. But I just wrapped John's present quick wrapping but as you can see this side's a little uneven because it was cut weird by whoever did it at Amazon. So can you guys tell me in the comments below how you guys celebrate your Christmas? And I'm not sure if anyone celebrates Christmas the way that my family does but we actually celebrate Christmas on the 24th. I don't remember the reason why we celebrate Christmas on the 24th but we do. Basically on the 24th we play games, we have drinks, we get drunk. <laughs> At least now that we're all old enough, like all my cousins and I are old enough to do that. And we have this huge feast, and then after that we keep drinking and whatnot, and then we entertain ourselves until 12 in the morning. So technically by 12 in the morning, it's the 25th. When it's 12 o'clock, we all start opening presents, and when we open presents, we open it in a certain order. So what happens is the youngest goes first, and we go from youngest to oldest. And I think one year we switched up and did like oldest to youngest, but depending on if someone has a baby or not, then we let the kids go first. So, so we don't do the Christmas morning thing on the 25th, we actually do the 24th at night and open presents at night, which I absolutely love. So I'd love to hear it if you think that your Christmas is different as well. 
But also let me know if you celebrate Christmas like my family, because that'd be really cool to know that other people are doing the same thing. So I pretty much took a strip of mat and wrapped it around the present, and I'm gonna do twine as well. I did that because it's kind of in the same theme as the present because it's like a traveling pillow. I wanna show the other presents that I wrapped. This is John's part one or part two gift. This is all the good stuff in here. I got him travel utensils, which probably should have went into that box, but I didn't think to get that pillow until after I wrapped this. Oh, look at that. My Christmas lights just went on. Ah. Wow, I'm blanking out so hard right now. What did I get? Oh, Lululemon paste, the paste runner shorts, which I bought for him last year, but not for Christmas. He like ripped them because he wears them every freaking day. And that's like the only pair of shorts that he wears to the gym. He loves those little lemon shorts. So I got him another pair, but they're a different color. And then I got him Fitbit. So this is like a very plainly wrapped one. I just used Amazon paper twine and I just made my own little paper tag. Yeah. And this is the other one that I made for my parents. I did the same thing as in the gift wrapping video. It's like burlap. I kind of wrote on here and then I realized I should have made a tag. So that looks really dumb up here. But I made a tag. This present for my parents is a selfie stick. I had the hardest time finding a present for my parents. And so I got them a composter and a selfie stick because my parents actually love taking pictures when they're out and doing stuff. Because I'm not even exaggerating you. They probably take like 200 photos every time they do something. It's like insane. So I figured maybe they can start using a selfie stick if they want to take pictures together. Jen is way better at this than I am. I don't know how you do this, Jen, this is difficult. What do you guys think of my snapback? I mean, I never really wear one in my videos, but I really like wearing snapbacks, and I used to wear them all the time in university because I was on like this dance crew. I'm so cool. I was on like this dance crew, and we all wore snapbacks and stuff, and I actually put on my wish list that I wanted the We The North snapback, the Raptor snapback. I'm not sure which one John's gonna get me on that wish list, but. That's on there. Yeah, I really like wearing snapbacks. So, let me know if you guys like it, because not that matters, because I'll probably wear it anyways. I'm wrapping my brother's fiance's present now. Oh, this gift is gonna be tough, because look at this paper, guys. It's like in a U shape. Amazon, you cut your paper so weird. Is it snowing where you guys are at all? Because it's not snowing here. It flurried a little bit, I think, a few days ago, but the snow never stuck to the ground. So I'm kind of sad to say that I don't think we'll have a white Christmas this year. Yeah, we haven't had a white Christmas, and this would be the second year, I think, if we don't get snow this year. I hope this thing is focused. I'm like staring at the viewfinder. I'm not really sure, and I checked it earlier, and it was, but I actually can't tell right now. I have to pick up John tomorrow morning at the airport. So I'm very excited to see him. And he's spending Christmas with my family for the very first time in our four year relationship. It will be four years on the 24th. Ah! So John and I's anniversary is on December 24th. Don't ask why that guy decided to ask me out to be, or to ask me to be his girlfriend on the 24th. Having an anniversary on the 24th is not cool, John. That wasn't a good idea. He always usually goes home for Christmas, but this year because of the tour situation, he comes here because it's closer, flying reasons. Anyways, moral of the story is that our anniversary is on the 24th and it is a little difficult to celebrate with him every year because we're not together on Christmas usually. So this is the first time that he'll be here and our second time spending our anniversary together in four years because the first year we did do a one year anniversary together because I was in his hometown for Christmas because my parents happened to be away for Christmas so I went to his place so I'm really excited for him to be here for Christmas it's gonna be fun it's gonna be great that he gets to experience our Christmas tradition and my dog just walked in here she wants to be on camera apparently this is Nano. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you'd see a lot of footage of her and how much she's obsessed with John. John? She like knows him by name. Do you want to see John? She's looking for him. There's like a window here. You'll see John tomorrow. She loves him. Like she starts howling when she sees him or when I say his name. I'm surprised she's not howling right now, but usually she starts howling. Anyways guys, I think this is a really long video. 
I don't want to record the entire wrapping process because I pretty much did my job in terms of wrapping. I just need to put twine and either layer some paper on and put the tags on them. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I would like to thank Jen for inspiring me to do this. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I probably won't see you guys until after Christmas, so I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you guys before then, but I'm hoping to see you guys before that. But I'll be busy spending time with John, so we'll see. I hope you guys have a very happy holidays. Please stay safe, drive safe if it's very snowy, and I'll see you guys very soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.